Hello there, and thank you for joining us this Tuesday evening at 8 o'clock. My name's Shaman, and every Tuesday, for the past eight years, we've always brought you the most amazing cruises from Planet Cruise. But tonight is a first because we have got a Thompson Takeover show. All the deals that we've got for you tonight are exclusive deals. Uh, many of them are all inclusive with exclusive savings. We've got some free upgrades as well and prices starting. This is for all inclusive under six hundred pounds and some really low deposits. Well, honestly, it is going to be an amazing show. I think it's going to be one of our busiest ever. And the phone lines are going to be open tonight till 11 o'clock and first thing tomorrow morning at 8. But whenever we have Thompson on the show, normally we just have one cruise, we always get a massive amount of calls. So tonight it will be first come, first served. Honestly, it's, it's going to be a great show. And we've got a very special guest as well. But here's a few reasons why you might want to book with Thompson tonight. There are many reasons, but we've kind of like just uh, pared them down. So have a, a little look at this. Uh, first of all, we've got exclusive discounts in every cabin on every cruise. So we're saving you even more money. Uh, all inclusives of standard on Tui Discovery, Tui Discovery 2 and the Tui Explorer. So most of the offers tonight are all inclusive. Uh, all of your tips and service charges are included on every single sailing as well. Um, what about this regional flights? Yes, we can find you flights from over 20 UK airports. Uh, we've also got no fly cruises uh, from Newcastle or Southampton and exclusive giveaways when booking a deal from the show tonight. So honestly, we're going to have such a great time. I know which cruise I, 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 I've got quite a few cruises I want to book tonight, but here to tell us all about them. We've got two guests. We've got Amigla Justin, of course, and Nicola from Thompson. Nice to see you guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Well, we, had, we met earlier. We and did. You've put an amazing show together for us. Thank you, yeah. And you've worked with Thompson for a long time now, haven't you? Yeah, 14 years I've worked with Thompson. So, uh, yeah, I've done a, done a fair few years. Well, whenever Justin and I, whenever we, we meet viewers that have been on Thompson Cruises, the feedback is fantastic, isn't it? And to, well, and to be fair, I think you said it all earlier on, you know, Thompson is such a great brand that they always sell out. And certainly yeah. from, from our side at Planet Cruise, it's one of the top sellers whenever we bring a, a yeah. Thompson deal to the show. And now tonight we've got all Thompson deals. We've got Christmas cruises. Yeah. We've got, and, and again, I, I, one thing that I, I think everybody forgets about is, is the fact that there's land holidays as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got two holidays here where you can extend uh, and have some breaks ashore as well, some of the great Thompson yeah. resorts. Uh, we've also got a farewell season uh, yes. for one of the cruises. We have, yeah. So the Thompson Spirit is doing its final season with us. So we've got a fantastic offer available on that as well. And, and, and just quickly, um, nearly every cruise is all inclusive tonight, isn't it? It is isn't Indeed. And what does that include in So that includes all your drinks on board. Well, I say all your drinks, it does, it does have some stipulations, but you've got all your cocktails, your mocktails, you've got branded spirits up to a certain level as well. Prosecco? Prosecco oh, is definitely oh, So for those Prosecco <laughs> lovers out there, it absolutely is. But also your soft drinks and your sort of speciality yeah. teas and coffees as and, well. And all service charges, all tips? It is, so no right. big bill at the end of the cruise. And have we got exclusive deals tonight? Exclusive deals just for the TV show. The best prices? The best prices that you're going to get Yay, tonight. Right, I'll tell you what, <laughs> let's start then. So. Um, we've got to start off. This is the one that I, I asked my boss earlier if I could have holiday for this, and we're working on it because... Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just before Christmas. I, I, I don't like the week before Christmas. It gets really stressful for me. There's always too much to do, so I'm thinking of getting away to the sun. You've got various dates on this one as well, though. But we're going to take on board the Thompson Dream. So let's have a, a little look. It's a semi all inclusive Canarian Flavours cruise from Tenerife. Just looking at, at uh, the ship here, what, what, what are your favourite things, Nicola? Um, so I really love the pool deck, it's just really relaxing, um, you can sit there, have a nice relaxing drink um, while you watch the world go by, especially at sea days, it's one of my most favourite things. you've got the things. whirlpools, I could see You've got the well. whirlpools, so um, yeah, you really can relax. Um, the spa is fantastic as well, so I do spend a lot of time on the spa when I'm on board. A little bit of pampering never goes harm when you're on board as now, well. Now, lovely food, everyone talks about the food at Thompson. Everyone does talk about the food and it really is fantastic. So um, we have won a lot of awards for uh, the food on board as well. Um, but you can get um, your a la carte dining as well as your buffet right. style as well. Uh, and again, the, everyone talks about you know how comfortable all the, the cabins are as well. Just looking at them here. Yeah, so fantastic furnishings. Um, you know, you've got your, your en suites there as well. Your tea and coffee making facilities are standard. Oh dear. You do, Good. so you can get up and make yourself a tea I'm, or coffee. I'm useless without a cup of coffee in the morning, I really am. 
Um, and obviously, um, we, we should get some great weather on this one, shouldn't we? Yeah, really good weather. So time of the year, just before Christmas as well, you're going to get some lovely winter sun. Canary Islands range in about the mid-twenties at that time of the year, so perfect. perfect. Uh, and four restaurants, it says there, yes? Yeah, so four restaurants on board. Um, so you've got your buffet style and then you've got your a la carte as well. You've also got um, Corolla, which is your Asian style restaurant. Oh, really? Um, and a selection of bars um, to yeah. enjoy your all-inclusive. Lots of bars for <laughs> your all-inclusive, so you won't get your money's worth. <laughs> um, and great entertainment, of course. Fantastic entertainment. So everything from Broadway shows to live mu musicians, you've got your comedians on board as well. Are you going? <laughs> Me? I'm, I'm straight away, I'm in there. But again, I think the great value on this one, this is a free upgrade to all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so when you work out, you've got return flights, you've got seven nights on inclusive, all of your food, all of your drinks, uh, all your tips paid yeah. for, but under £600. And one of the great things is that you don't have to worry about budgeting for, for all of the expenses that you'd usually associate yeah. with a cruise. So you could actually stay on if you want for an extra £499 per person. You could do another seven nights in Tenerife, uh, half board, uh, based on the lead date. So a really? uh, great opportunity to have not just a, a Thompson cruise, but also a Thompson stay as well. I think that look, I mean, what a great start to the show. It is, it's, it's a Isn't fantastic it? offer. Anyway, Justin, do you want to talk us through some of the, yeah, the yeah. great, great places we're going to be seeing? So regional flights are available, of course, call up and, and ask for details on uh, any supplements from uh, other airports. But, but this is based on Bournemouth, is that this right? This is based on Bournemouth, yeah, flying out to, uh, to Tenerife. And your first port of call is going to be Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. Beautiful golden dunes, uh, rugged mountains as well. So plenty to see and do here. If you want to go out and do something a little bit adventurous, then you go to the uh, Bandama Crater. Um, if you just get off the ship, actually, this is just on the quayside. You can walk along here, and there's a lovely, lovely shopping area there with some lovely little bars and restaurants. So if you just want to have a lazy day, last time I was here, I actually got a, a bike and cycled down, just cycled as far as I could, uh, as far as I wanted to, and then just come all the way back. It's lovely. It really is really lovely place um, then we're going somewhere completely this is this is untouched this is one of the smallest islands in the Canaries uh, La Gomera and this is this is really really beautiful it's such a pretty tiny little place uh, again, great for cruisers, great for tourists, but it's off the beaten track. Yeah, I, I, I went there a few years ago. It's very uncommercialised, isn't yeah. it? It's really yeah. nice. And, and that's, it's, it's sort of, you know, a true sense of the culture, yeah. really, in the Canaries. Um, then we're going to be going across to uh, Madeira. And this is one of my favourite ports of call because there's just such great food here. There's great Britannics as well. The gardens are gorgeous. Yeah. You can go to the, um, the flower markets over in uh, Madeira. Are fantastic. But you've got to go and do the wicker basket run. So, uh, oh, I don't know whether Nick, Nick, have you ever done this? Never done I don't, a fan, I don't <laughs> fancy this. Go no. on, brilliant. Go on. So, so, you get the cable car up, up the side of the hill, yeah. and then there's these local guys that are all in, in, in white chinos, white shirts, and the, the straw hats, and they basically push you down this hill in a wicker basket, but they run along the side with you and guide you down these streets. It's the craziest thing that you can ever do, but it's, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I still don't want to do it, yeah. No, not for me. <laughs> and of course, it, it's obligatory that you've got to pick up your Madeira cake, your Madeira wine. Oh, that sounds well. better. Exactly. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, the next day is going to be a nice relaxing day at sea to recover from your experience in a wicker basket. <laughs> Please, just Google it. Go and watch it. Um, I've actually got some old footage of me, actually. I might have to, I might have to get, get it on a show. Oh, you should, uh, then we're yeah. off to Lanzarote. Now, Lanzarote is its one of those islands that it's just unique. because Unique for the architecture, but also unique for the geography and the topography of the place as well. That was a big word, wasn't it? It was. Um, now, there's, um, there's a, an artist by the name of Cesar Manrique. Uh, and up until recently, I never actually met anybody that had known him. I mentioned it to one of my friends. He was like, I was over in Lanzarote. I've got a photo. I went to the grotto. And this is the grotto. It's an underground lake. Years ago, it was just abandoned, and they've actually excavated it out and made it this beautiful, it's, tranquil yeah. oasis. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's, and again, you, you go from this to these barren desert sort of sand dunes that look as if it's on a, on a different planet. In fact, talking of which, they actually shot a lot of the old Planet of the Apes and the sci-fi films here because it's such a unique place. Um, but go to the Mountains of Fire. That's a, a, another nice place to go to as well. Um, now we're off to Fuerteventura. Now this is probably more, you know, well known for its, it's just literally 10 kilometers of blonde sand. Just yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous beaches. So uh, definitely go uh, and enjoy yourself there. You can go out and do some, <coughs> excuse me, you can do some of the tours um, to, to some of the aloe vera 
um, plants as well. You, you can go out and, and see some of the farms out there where they actually cultivate it. So um, it's plenty to see and do. Good w uh, for water sports. So if you do like your water sports, you fancy having a little bit of a go at some uh, windboarding or you know anything, anything like that. She's then, very uh, adventurous, isn't she? She is. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be like, I'm, I'm just the most the exciting beach. travel presenter on this show. <laughs> Uh, then we, we come back into Tenerife, and that, that ends the cruise. But remember, you can add, add on another week in Tenerife, if you want, for just £499 per person, um, and that's half board. I mean, free upgrades all-inclusive on this one. Great location, great ship. Well, the only thing I want to say is you do it now. You know, If you can get away, we've got some of the dates available as well. Do it now. And actually, your deposit uh, for this one is just £75 per person to secure your place. We worked out, by the way, this works out just £86 per person per night. So let's, uh, I think this is a great one. So I, seriously, if, I, if, I'll, if my boss will allow me a holiday, I want to do this one on the 15th. So free upgrade to all-inclusive. So you're getting a free upgrade on tonight's show. You get all your tips and service charges. That's on every cruise tonight. Uh, return flights from Bournemouth. Uh, plus all your overseas transfers as well. Regional flights uh, are available, just ask the call centre. And as Justin mentioned, if you want to add on a seven-night Christmas hotel stay in Tenerife on a half-bod basis, you can do that for less than £500. I'll give you the prices for all three dates. So we've got the 1st of December, the 15th of December, and the 12th of January as well. Nice to get away in the new year, actually, as well. Um, and I will let you know, all the cruises tonight do have their own individual ID numbers. Uh, this one is 128774. I can only just see that, just to let you know. But it is there on your screen, 128774. Um, now, our next cruise is on board the Thompson Spirit. And it's an adults-only cruise with Thompson. And Nicola, you were saying this is the farewell season. It is. So, yeah, we do um, let go of the Thompson Spirit. We say a... Um, a sad goodbye um, at the end of the season so it does go out of service in November because she's got such a big following hasn't she, she? has yeah. it really is a home from home on board as well so we've got a lot of guests that go on the Thompson Spirit time after time so it is a fantastic opportunity to, to see this before it does go out of service uh, and, the, and this final season is selling really fast it is it's, really, it's selling really fast so not to be missed well uh, let's uh, let's just have a final look then at the Thompson Spirit um now, you'll, on this one, you will get a free upgrade from inside to outside, won't you, on this you one? So, um, what are the main things that viewers love on this one, passengers love? Like I said, it just really is a home from home. So, one of the things that you will find on the Thompson Spirit is the staff have been there for a long time. So, if you do yeah. go back on board, they will recognise you, um, they will talk to you by name. Um, and, it, you know, you really do feel like you've just literally stepped on board and relaxed from the second that you've got on board as well. Um, you've got all different types of cabins on board. So um, we've got the inside, outsides, and then up to the deluxe cabins um, as well. Which are a bit, bit bigger, aren't they? Bit bigger, bit, bit spacious. Um, you can sort of do, um, there's a lot more there as well. You've got the pool decks, um, which, as always, a real big highlight um, on board any Thompson Cruises ship um, as well. Um, and uh, the four restaurants, so a little bit more of an intimate feel on board the Thompson Spirit. I tell you what, just, just looking here, and I, and I haven't yet done a Thompson Cruise, and I've, I've spoken to so many past, you know, viewers that I have, I am really seriously tempted, because I'd, like I'd actually like to go with quite a group of friends, and your prices are so good that you can, you know, a lot of my friends, are, you know, at this type of price, I think we could get a big group together. They are indeed, and it is, um, you know, there's something for everybody yeah, on board. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so that's you know. definitely one to go. Um, I'd like to set my mum as well. She can still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that would be lovely. Yeah. I'm sure she'd have a lovely time. I'm sure she would. She's watching tonight as it happens. And great entertainment, you know, I, I love entertainment on an evening. I know you do, Justin. And yeah. Yeah, the, the I mean, it's fab, isn't it? I, th I think the great thing to remember about about Thompson in general and about the actual ships here is that they're not massive ships that no. are three, four thousand passengers. Where there's an atmosphere, but there's not an intimacy. You actually get to know people, and like you're saying about the the staff, it really does make the difference. And when you go around some of the bars, I mean, Raffles Bar, right, particularly on Spirit, I think that's going to be sorely missed because it does sort of replicate that whole Singapore feel of the original Raffles. You know, yeah, if you yeah. go to some of the the other bars and, and the lounges, you know, you do get that feel of you are welcome it's a, a bit more of a 
relaxed style of cruising. I yeah. think I think if, there, if there's anybody that's watching tonight and, and they're thinking, oh, it's a first cruise, is it going to be a little bit too uptight and a little bit stuffy as cruising sometimes yeah. is interpreted? It's, it's never like it's that. It's not yeah. like that no, at all. No, you don't no. have the set dress code. You don't have set dining times. So you can just do it as you please when you're on board and just really make it your holiday. Because that is something that first-time cruisers do worry about. Or, like, you know, they yeah. worry about too much dressing up and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so I mean, you can go as, you know, as dressed up as you wish yeah. to, so you won't feel over or underdressed on board um anyway you're going to see some beautiful places on this one as well aren't you just do uh, yeah you fly yeah. from london is that right yeah we're going out to dubrovnik this is your embarkation port and you've got a, a nice relaxing day at sea um to, to basically to customize yourself to the ship uh and you know find your way around but this is a beautiful part of the world the adriatic and in particular heading on down to this part now uh in corinth is absolutely stunning now this is one of the ports that i never got a chance to travel to but when you see pictures like this um, of some of the uh, the archaeological sites and some of the historical sites, it's absolutely superb. There's also um, the canal here as well, which is definitely one to see. There's also the Temple of Apollo, which had uh, 42 uh, different columns. Uh, the majority of them are still intact, so uh, go and see these things. Uh, you know, it's, you, we, we've got to you know you go all that way. Um, book a, a, um, a tour, an excursion, and that's something that we can do. So you can do it on board, but I'd actually say enjoy your time on board. Get all of the, uh, the planning out of the way. Um, then we're going to be into um, Atia um, and into uh, Delphi. Now, Delphi, the Delphi Oracle, does that ring any bells? If you're into your mythology, then this is uh, the actual original location of the Oracle itself. It's very intelligent, um, Justin. Have you noticed? Nice well, I, I come across as I'm intelligent. <laughs> I've done my research. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the bars are. <laughs> but to, to be fair, I mean, again, look at the actual landscape you've got here. How can you not get excited when you see views like that and think about, I'm going to go back to the ship, a beautiful interior that's been recently refurbished, friendly staff, great food, great entertainment and travel. It's a perfect combination. Um, now we're going to go on to our next site and this is the big historical site. This is Catacolon. If I said Olympia, what does that th make you think of? The Olympics. Well, of course, yeah. And this is the original, this is the home. Um, so I'd love uh, to see that. I really would. I mean, a sleepy Greek uh, fishing village and then you've got these wonderful temples and the original ruins of Olympia. Um, which is just, you've got the Temple of Zeus here, where there was the uh, golden ivory statue of, of Zeus, one of the um, seven wonders of the ancient world. Um, and you've got all the, the, the marble starting blocks as well, so you can recreate your own Usain Bolt moment. So, um, <laughs> yeah, mine's actually already bolted. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> then we're going to go off to Corfu. Now, this is the actual birthplace of Prince Philip and uh, also the home of the Achillean Palace, a beautiful um, place itself. I mean, if you see, in fact, here, this is an absolutely stunning fortress. And if you carry on down into the old town uh, itself, there's just these lovely little tavernas. You can go and have some really good, authentic Greek. You know, everybody says, have it, do you like Greek food? It's not until you actually go there that you actually experience proper olive oil, proper olives, proper sake as well. Um, it's not sake, is it? No, what's the uh, uzu? Uzo. Uzo. Yeah, uzo. uzo I've, you think. I've actually still got the bottles. Um, yeah, the contents have gone a very long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, now we're off to Montenegro, and uh, this is off to Couture. Now, there's one place here that's just simply beautiful. You've got St. Triffin's Cathedral, um, which is, you know, just you just got to go there. But the actual harbour side, it's picturesque. It's proper picture postcard. I mean, look at the colour of the ocean that you've got there. Um, you've also got the Old Town as well, which is UNESCO World Heritage Site, and you've also got a really nice maritime museum. Uh, but again, the Adriatic, you, you know, you're not going to go far too wrong um, here. Then you're coming back to Dubrovnik and then flying back to London. And um, I think this is just a, a great cruise. The ship itself, a farewell cruise. The atmosphere is going to be fantastic on there because even though all the crew is going to be sad that, you know, to see their home going. And, and again, uh, you know, very much if, if you're a regular Thompson cruiser where you spent many happy memories, it's a great celebration. And the food that you've got, the entertainment with the Broadway show lounge uh, as well, is just superb. Absolutely superb. Um, there's also an add-on on this one as well. Yeah, if you want to add on a seven-night uh, beach stay, you can actually do that starting at 279 as well. So if you want to add up that on to your cruise, you can certainly do that as well. So just to remind you, on this one, you are getting a free upgrade from inside to outside. We've got return flights from London, uh, Gatwick, but we've also got Bristol or Glasgow there. Uh, 
All of those are based on that lead date and other regional flights available. Throughout the show, you see that basically we've always got uh, regional flights available. Just ask our call center and they'll let you know uh, what supplements will apply for those. And as I mentioned, you can add on a seven night hotel beach stay for only 279. But this is, uh, Nicola, this is the farewell season on this ship, isn't it? So it is, yes. Be a lot of sad passengers. Aren't there they? will be, and a lot of sad crew as yeah, well. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's done absolutely amazingly over the yeah. years, so it will be very sad to see but, it go. Uh, it's got to make sense for these new ships we've got coming it in. It has. <laughs> but, uh, tell me very quickly about what. If you do want to book tonight, we've got those two dates, of course, available. And if you did want to upgrade to all inclusive, you can do that as well, can't you? Can, you can, know? yeah. So uh, yes, just ask the call centre, and they can add that on for you as an upgrade. But we've got. Oh, yeah, this one is really good. They're all good tonight. They're really they good. They are, yeah. It's one of the best shows ever in eight years. Uh, this is with the two Discovery, isn't it? And uh, it's an adult-only one, this one, isn't it? This is the adults-only one also as well, yeah, on the um, new Tui Discovery. So started she sailing um, with us uh, last summer. And getting um, some great reviews. She, it is, and it's absolutely beautiful um, on board as well. So it has got a lot of brand new features um, to it and a different way uh, for Thompson cruising. And now this one, you're away for 15 nights. It's all-inclusive. All-inclusive as standard on the, on the TUI Discovery. Wow. So, yeah, you don't even need to worry about a free upgrade. You will get that from the base price. And uh, you're going to see some amazing places on this one. Now, I know he's watching tonight. Can you believe Keith Maynard? No. Keith yeah, is watching tonight, yeah. Seriously, he texted like me just before the show, so he's watching. I know I feel like... Is my makeup all right? Uh, it's fine, yeah. You look, sure? you look a lot better than he did, yeah. But I anyway... in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm only joking. Keith, lovely, uh, lovely that you're watching tonight. Um, but if you're thinking, who's Keith? Well, Keith is also a big part of Planet Cruise, and here he is to show you around Thompson. The launch of the new TUI Discovery has marked a real sea change for Thompson Cruises. Larger, more spacious and luxurious ships that still maintain that unique British family atmosphere that Thompson Cruises are so famous for. And what's even better, they're all inclusive, which means your meals in five of the seven restaurants, all your drinks and your tips are included. Now there are 915 cabins on board TUI Discovery and all of them are stylish, well designed and actually quite spacious. From the insides, right the way through to the great views of the balconies and these these incredible spacious family suites because you've got the children's room off to the, the left there and they've got their own bathroom with shower and then mum and dad's area of bliss and solitude hopefully which has a king size bed and an ensuite. Ideal for active cruisers, Tui Discovery is actually bursting with things to see and do. You can test your fear of heights by tackling the new rock climbing wall or maybe even take a game or two of mini golf out on the open deck. You've also got your choice of two pools plus an adults only veranda area for you to relax. But I think my absolute favorite thing to do on board has to be the new breakout and escape room. And it's your job to solve the clues and make sure you escape before time runs out. When it comes to dining on board Tui Discovery, you really will be spoiled for choice with seven different venues to choose from. Whether you fancy the ornate main dining room, then there's the classic surf and turf steakhouse. And this is where you can expect an intimate and inviting atmosphere to go with your 28 day aged Angus steak and lobster tail. Now, if Asian food is more your thing, then head here to the beautifully designed pan Asian restaurant known as Coralar. And this is where your palate can really be treated to a whole range of specialities from all over Asia. Thompson Cruises has always known what it means to entertain people, but on board between Discovery, they've really pushed the boat out. And there's a whole host of different venues to visit for your favourite tipple, whether you head to the live room for great live music and those excellent game shows, or where the entertainment really comes alive is the stunning Broadway showdown. It's an 800 plus capacity theatre and it pays homage to the golden age of New York and Broadway and offers up a huge selection of 11 different style unique shows. That was our Keith there who does say hi to everybody by the way. Now what an adventure we're going to have on this one. Two weeks away, over two weeks away. Yeah. All inclusive. <laughs> all inclusive again. Yeah. Fantastic new ship as well. The facilities on board yeah. as well. It is absolutely brilliant, and you've got um, Christmas Day at sea on this one as well. 
Oh, no, is that later oh. on? No, you haven't. That's later on. No, no, that's haven't. later, you're jumping ahead. I, I am you jumping are. ahead. I'm seeing that, that's because this is the one I'm looking forward to. It's <laughs> yeah. Christmas Day and we, see, I'm we, there if, already. If you do want to be away for Christmas, Christmas yeah, then you've got to stay tuned. Stay tuned, because that one is coming up, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no, this is the repositional. Um, so you've got 15 notes, you've got some C days on this one as well. Yeah. So the good thing about this one is you can really experience all the facilities on board. Well, I know we, we better crack on. <laughs> We're a bit behind, so we're going to fly over to uh, Palm, of course, from London Gatwick. Where are we stopping at first, then, Justin? Uh, first, first port of call is Cartagena in Spain. Some fantastic history here, beautiful amphitheatres, um, and also a uh, big naval following as well. So if you love your ships, lovely cathedrals as well. Then we're off to Malaga. I'd actually say shopping. Fantastic in Malaga, and also the tapas is to die for. There's also uh, the Malgueta there as well, if you want to go and see some of the historic sites uh, and sounds of the culture as well. Also, the home to Picasso and Antonio Banderas. Then we're off to Funchal in Madeira, we spoke about that earlier on, and then we make our transatlantic crossing to the beautiful now, Caribbean. Now, I want to talk about this because we've got five days at sea, and you know, some people have said to me, oh, what do you do at the days at sea? There is so much to do, isn't there? There is so much to do. You've got the rock climbing wall on board the Tiri Discovery. You've got the uh, mini bar golf there as well. Um, you've got the um, movies by Moonlight. So they're really. Oh, this is your favourite bar. This is my favourite bar, Bar 11. It's a panoramic view uh, since you yeah. sailed. I only met you earlier on, and I know your favourite bar already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but no, it's, to, to be fair, I, I actually quite miss the days at sea because it's such a relaxing way that, you know, you know when you don't have to look at your watch? You don't have to worry about yeah. what time you have to get back to put the dinner on or pick the kids up or, or, or do whatever you're going to do. I'm with you on that. I Just love the days at sea. wander around the ship. You've got plenty of open deck spaces, fantastic contemporary interiors And it would not well. be funny, on a land holiday, you've probably stuck around one swimming pool in one hotel with one restaurant, one bar. There's mm. so much more here, isn't there? It definitely is. I mean, you've got the indoor solarium as well, so obviously the weather is going to be fantastic. We hope at that time of the year, but you can enjoy that with a retractable roof. Well, sometimes I go in there, if it's too hot, because I burn easily, so, you know, but there's something for everybody. Uh, anyway, we're making our way over to Antigua, Justin, aren't we? Antigua, 365 beaches for 365 days of the year, but you're just here for one day. Make the most of it, enjoy it. Some of the best beaches, and there's a great little port complex as well, so if you do like your duty-free, uh, then you can do that there. Um, then we're going to head off to St. Thomas. Uh, this is US Virgin Islands. Again, beautiful, beautiful hotels here. So if you just want to go, again, for a day near a beach with good resorts that you can do, or again, very good facilities in town. You can have a wander in town, see all the discount stores for all your um, big designer labels. So uh, really, really good there. Then we're off to San Juan. Now San Juan is a city of, of two uh, places. You've got, again, great shopping at the uh, Plaza de las Americas, and then you've got the old town. I just, just I'd, I'd recommend get lost in the old town, have a wander around, and just see what you find because it's absolutely, it's remarkable, fantastic. Um, then we're off to St. Kitts. Now, this is where I'd recommend doing your outdoor activities because you can do quad biking here, you can go off into the rainforest. It really is a fantastic island for outdoor activities. Um, also, some great historic sites as well. There's the Brimstone Hill Fortress as well. Uh, and if you do like a little bit of scuba diving, you can indulge in that. Um, there's a, a really good port. This, this is what they call Port Zanti, which is actually where you dock. So if you want to pick up some uh, artifacts or you know handicrafts, best place to do it. Then we're off to uh, St. Lucia. Now, St. Lucia is just literally, well, dominated by the, the, the skyline of the Pitons, which is the two mountains. Also, you've got Marigo Bay. This is where they did the original Dr. Doolittle. Um, you've got to go around there. There's a fantastic little bar called the, the Giant Pink Sea Snail. Try saying that after we've had a couple. Um, and that's from the film, but it's a beautiful little cocktail bar. Um, and uh, after St. Lucia, I, well, I'd say go up to the north of the island for the, um, for the beaches. There's Spinnaker Beach up the top and Pigeon Point. There's, there's some great places. I mean, w when you look at where you're going to visit, that yeah, amazing. Isn't Eastern it? Caribbean, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, all inclusive as well. Um, we um, were speaking to Nick earlier. You think this will be top seller tonight, don't you? I do. Yeah, I think this will be the one that you not to be missed. You do need to get this one booked now. Well, first of all, it's all inclusive with exclusive discounts for everyone watching tonight, and your tips are included. Return flights based on London Gatwick. As ever, we have got flights available from Manchester, Birmingham, or Glasgow, just for supplement, and a great single price there actually starting at 1879. That is very limited uh, in terms of availability. And it works out an amazing 
£82, in fact, under £82 per person for that. That is adults only, by the way, as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's amazing. I really do. 4th of November. If I don't get my December holiday, maybe I can go in November, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, some of you may be watching tonight and thinking... I love the idea of doing a Thompson cruise, but I don't like flying. Well, the next cruise could be from you because it's actually from Newcastle, this one, isn't it? It is, yeah. So Newcastle sailings um, for us for the second year running. That's great. Um, it so, is really popular. Because it's not funny, but you know, for, for a lot of viewers in the north, um, you know, to go all the way to Southampton can be a bit of a journey. Hmm. This is from Newcastle. So it is brilliant. from Newcastle. So it is really, really popular. And as you say, no flying. So for those that don't want to have to venture to the ports overseas, yeah. you can just hop on at Newcastle. Well, and you don't have any luggage allowance. Exactly. No luggage allowance. So, so even more shoes yeah, and bags. Yeah, that's what I tend to do, just is pack some more <laughs> shoes. <laughs> um, so, um, again, it's all inclusive, this one as well, from Newcastle. Your first day is at sea. Well, one thing I tell you, just, just before we go into the itinerary, just I want to point out that there's some really good premium cabins that yes. are available. There's, there's not many of them available. I just want to drop it in there because the value... Speak, th speak with the advisor when you phone up the call centre. Just ask about the premium cabins and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Lovely. Um, but yeah, leaving Newcastle and you've got one day at sea and over to Oslo. Now this is the, the capital and the oldest city of, of Norway. Um, fantastic museum here with uh, Viking longships as well. A great park um, of sculptures as well, which is, is you know what, for, for, for me not being that cultural, um, I really enjoyed it. It was just a beautiful day. Have a wander around. And uh, again, really, really crisp and bright. That's, uh, and here's, here's the actual park itself. And if you look closer and closer, there's a, a fantastic obelisk which is actually built of different statues itself. So uh, go and see it, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Then we're off to Sweden, we're off to Gothenburg. Um, one of the most beautiful things here is the, the Poseidon Fountain, uh, which of course has the, uh, the wonderful trident uh, there, which is uh, all cast in bronze. And it's actually by a local Swedish artist, so uh, there you go, don't you know. Uh, also, very good city shopping here as well. So uh, it does tend to be quite expensive, but you do get what you pay for. It's high end. Um, I actually bought some really nice glasses. Was that Helsinki? It was one of the two. Um, and uh, still have them today, keep them for special occasions. It's that type of thing. And again, with you uh, not flying on this one, it doesn't matter if yeah. you are buying lots of things. You journey, bring back it? what you like. Um, uh, also, there's a, a really good boat tour on the canals and around the harbour that's worth doing. So uh, going from one big ship to a little small one and experiencing something else. Then we've got a nice relaxing day at sea and then we're off to Estonia. Um, there's some beautiful gardens here in Tallinn. And uh, to be fair... The old town is one of the most beautiful medieval towns that I've ever seen. You can see the turrets here um, and the church at the top. It is quite a, a little bit of a walk up there, but let's just say that the view rewards you. Also, the town square, there's an actual town hall um, that we're going to show you right now. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning around the outside. You do tend to pay a little bit more for your coffees and your drinks around the outside, but it's great for people watching. I, I, I love, love a good yeah, people watch. And this is one of the best flower markets I've ever seen. Um, I know it sounds, sounds a little bit of a travesty to buy flowers, bring them back on board, but actually your cabin is your home. Just buy them because they're the most beautiful blooms you'll ever see. Um, then we're going to be going deeper into uh, the Baltics now. We're going to St. Petersburg and oh, this yeah. is the highlight of the cruise. This is where you're having an overnight. And again, I can't say this, I can't stress this enough. If you looked at me and said ballet, you'd probably think, nah, those two don't go together. One of the best experiences, so much so that I went back and did it twice since. Um, live orchestra, um, I mean, you, you can do the museum in the day, you can go to the um, Hermitage, you can go to the Hermitage there. Um, a, again, I'll tell you now, you only see the tiniest, literally the tip of the iceberg, because the Hermitage is so large, but they've got such a great collection there. So do that in the day. You've got an overnight there. Go and do the ballet. Book the tour early to avoid disappointment and go and see the Russian ballet. It's just, just brilliant. Next, next day you have is uh, a day at leisure in St. Petersburg. Go to some of the markets, go to the, the Church of Spilt Blood and do all of the, the things that you've got to do. Uh, then we're off to Helsinki. Now this, this is actually, it is where I bought these glasses. They're beautiful glasses. Um, <laughs> I know I keep on going about these glasses, but they're really, really good glasses. Um, the architecture here is something that's absolutely stunning. The sailing as well. This is a very, very busy ferry port 
as well. So you'll see lots of, of coming and goings. Um, and uh, it's, worth, it's called the Daughter, Daughter of the Baltic. So that gives you some sort of an idea of uh, the beauty that you'll see. Um, the best sailing, though, out of all of these ports has to be the next, Stockholm. It is absolutely stunning. Seeing how the, the, the captain will navigate the small islands, and you're literally there, and you can see these little wooden shacks, and you know, there's people chopping wood. It's, it's, it's that rustic feel, so fresh, so bright, and the town itself, look at the vibrance of the color of the buildings that you've got there. Um, absolutely low. It's around 23 degrees all year. Oh, really? Which is great. A little bit colder at night, but in the day, you'll be fine. Uh, relaxing day at sea, and then we're into um, Varnamunda. Now, if I said Varnamunda, you know, Varnamunda? Never heard of it. If I said Berlin, Ah, ah yes. so this is the port that you can go into Berlin. So if you do want to book a tour, go and get, uh, you know, go and see the the Berlin Wall, go and see uh, some of the history there, and there is some great history as well uh, to go and see. Or I'd actually recommend staying locally. Varnemunde is one of the most beautiful seaside towns that I've ever seen. It's got this quintessential Britishness about it, which is a kind of weird thing that is in Germany, but it just it just works. Really? So they, you know, they go swimming every day of the year, even oh, on Christmas Day. Oh, this is the place. Yeah, yeah they, they have these little wicker basket um, changing rooms. So you know when you go back mm. to the times of the sort of uh, the turn of the century where even men used to used to go with shorts and a top on, you know, proper chitty chitty bang bang sort of stuff. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's absolutely stunning. Anyway, then we're off to Kallenberg. Now, this is a new port on me, um, but this, there's one place you've got to go here, and it's the Church of Our Lady. It is, it is one of the most recognisable places um, that you'll see. Five spires that you, you can see there, and uh, some great, really good coastline along this one. Again, get up early and enjoy the sailings, because you're never going to see cruising like this, and especially on these ships because they're a lot smaller than the larger ships that you'd, uh, you'd, um, you'd usually associate. Uh, but then you have a nice relaxing day at sea to wrap all things up and back into Newcastle. Again, fantastic item. I haven't done the Baltics at all, you know. Oh, you haven't lived. I've never done the Baltics. I have. I'd like I would to love to oh, do them. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, and you are going to be, of course, on board the TUI Discovery. Um, fantastic ship. It is. So um, you've got the coffee port there on board as well. So you can relax like you're back at home in your local coffee shop as well, just catching up on what you've done over that day. Um, the live casino um, you've got there as well. So you can have a little bit of dabble on the table, see if you're lucky yeah, at all. I really do. I, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like to do that. So you've got obviously you've got the grand suite. Yeah, we talk I would love to stay in the grand oh. suite. So um, that's absolutely beautiful. Well, let's just give you an idea of what's a Again, this is an all inclusive cruise. Get Exclusive discounts and so much has gone into the deals tonight for this show, so do not miss out on the opportunity tonight. All your tips included. Uh, we've got a single available on that one starting at 2159 based on the lead date. And we've really tried uh, to enable everybody to book a Thompson Cruise tonight, so you've got a very low deposit from only £75 per person tonight. And that overnight, as Justin said, that amazing overnight on board in St. Petersburg as well. Uh, now, the lead uh, date, this is the 20th of May. The inside starts at 1479, but Justin mentioned you've got some great, great prices. Did you say me about the price? <laughs> I, you, this is why I said, yeah, no, look at that really price. Good. For a deluxe cabin for two weeks. Absolutely amazing. And it's all inclusive. It I, is, yeah, yeah, all inclusive. So what I'd say is all inclusive. Usually when you go on holiday, you budget spending money, don't you? Yeah, you do. So if you actually work it out sensibly and you, know, you enjoy yourself, use the all inclusive package, hang on, that budget I could actually spend on having a better cabin and yeah. really, really pushed about and enjoy ourselves. Yeah. So I could have my deluxe cabin and really relax. Yeah, that's true. So do do that because I think they're going to go very quickly tonight. Right, uh, two more cruises and the next one is a wonderful seven night all inclusive again highlights of the mediterranean from your mallorca and this ah. is on the tui explorer ah, yeah. <laughs> this is, this will be the, the the newest yeah so this will be the newest ship to our fleet so it starts uh, sailing with us in may of next year um, so it's a fantastic offering. It's going to be the largest of the fleet, so it'll hold just over 1,900 passengers. So still a nice which size. Which still though, yeah. a really, really nice size. Um, my favourite thing about this is going to be the restaurant offerings on board. Um, you're not going to just have...
have um, your a la carte restaurant, your sort of your main dining areas. You've also got sushi um, on board. You've got pizzeria um, on board. You've got the famous Corolla, um, as I was talking about before. The hot so stones the look hot fantastic. Stone yeah. restaurant steak on a proper hot well. stone that you can oh. cook yourself. Um, and scoops. Scoops will be oh. there as well. So sounds like food heaven. It is. There's, you know, you're not going to be able to probably make it around by the, by every way, single one. When I, when I say we'll scoops, try. it's literally you can go up and you can choose. It's like a proper ice cream bar. You can go, I'll have a scoop of this, I'll have a scoop of that. This, 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 this is my favourite. You were this talking is about this earlier. Piano. Yes, so Love we've it. got the yellow piano on board um, Tui Discovery 2 and Tui Explorer is going to have the pink piano. So this is scoops that we were just talking about here. So it is your ice cream bar. So you can go and taste as many flavours as you want. Um, Mediterranean um, restaurant um, and bar on board as well. And the spa um, one of my favourite places, as I said before, but it's going to be the biggest spa on board the Thompson Cruises fleet. Looks amazing. Um, and I've got to say, I think a fantastic price. Bear in mind, we, we're talking peak season here, July, aren't we? Peak Lee season Day. in July, so a really amazing price. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. She's great. She's a really great yeah. looking ship. I, Do you know, I was just thinking, sorry, I was thinking, I could spend the whole week just on the ship, but we are visiting some, some <laughs> we great are places. We are going to some we? great places, yeah. and this is one of my favourite items. So go on, as just well. Well, what I was, I was just going to say ship, was, <laughs> was book this early because so many people have been disappointed that they didn't make it onto Discovery yeah. for, for their inaugural cruise, but this you need to book early. Come first on, first port of call is the Jasso, so we're ship. off to. Yeah, are we, are we getting off? We're getting off. We're off to Corsica, uh, Jasser. This is where Napoleon Bonaparte was, uh, Bonaparte was, uh, was uh, born. Um, so, uh, lovely, lovely place. The actual beaches itself are fantastic. If you want to head into the island itself, you've got beautiful forests that you can go and do some activities, walking tours, uh, and the like. Um, then we're going to be off to Rome. Uh, now, you're actually docking at a port called Civicevecchia. Um, and this, probably about uh, probably a good 45 minute ride into Rome. That's why I recommend booking a tour because yeah. then at least then you don't have to worry about it. You can see the Vatican City, the Trevi Fountain, the Roman Forum. Uh, you can see uh, St. Peter's Basilica as well. Um, you can see the full works. And you, you really can, can do it in a day, can't you? A you can, you can. My top tip is if you want to see the Sistine Chapel, you just have to walk through the museum, which is terrible. You just have to ignore everything and just Sistine Chapel, do it, out, do the Colosseum, see the, see the Vatican City, you never know. The, the, uh, the Pope may be in residence, you never know, you may be lucky. Um, then we're off to Marina de Carrera. Now, Carrera is 20 minutes from Florence and Pisa. And this, to be fair, this port itself is a destination in itself. Where, where you have Civitavecchia, where everybody goes into Rome, this I'd recommend having a good look around. If you've done Florence and Pisa before, you'll love this. It's known as the Marble City itself, and that's the Carrera. It's about 20 minutes from the actual port itself, and it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Then we're off to France. We're off to Saint Raphael, which is just down the road from Saint-Tropez. So if you want to go and do, you know, the proper you know, uh, let's let's go to the South France, let's do the Mediterranean thing, darling, yes. Let's get my driving shoes out and boat shoes. Let's have a glass of Prosecco. Lovely Nixon on, on that one. <laughs> um, and this is all on board the brand new ship as well. So uh, I'm glad, I'm glad I've got off the ship then now, because yeah. we are seeing some amazing places, and, aren't we? And then we're off to Nick's favourite port. We're off to Barcelona. Yeah. 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 So I love Barcelona. You've got the Salgados Familia. Um, you've got the new camp, so for all your football fans um, out there as well. So you've got the Salgados Familia, as I just said there. They still haven't finished it, have they? They haven't finished it. So it's <laughs> going to unfinished wonder. So you do have to walk around it to really sort of see the true nature I, of it as well. I just think Barcelona just has a great feeling and vibe, doesn't it? Ugh. It does indeed. And yeah. you've got, you can just walk down Las Ramblas and you've got all your tapas bars there and you can just stop. The marina's from, lovely as marina's well. Marina's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, back to Parma and uh, your flight over to the UK. Now, um, just to remind you, I mean, God, you've got, first of all, uh, a chance to sell for the first time on Thomason's newest ship, the Tui Explorer. Sing we've got a good single price on this, haven't we, actually? Really good single price based on the lead date there of 1529. Flights um, are from Bournemouth, but we've also got flights available from selected UK airports. Again, just ask about those and we can tell you what supplements may apply. And if you want to add on a seven-night hotel stay in Mallorca, we can do that from just £389 
per person. So amazing value. Bear in mind that is, you know, that's July peak season and their latest ship, the Chewy Explorer. And there's all the, uh, the different prices for the various dates as well. And then, if you were paying attention, Nicola did mention earlier on that you could be away for Christmas. You can. This is the one, isn't it? This is the one, and this is my favourite, and this is the one I, I really want to do. I must say, I've, I've never been away for Christmas, but I, I would love to be on a cruise ship on Christmas Day. Yeah, I can just imagine lying up on deck, it's Christmas Day, the sun is shining, and you're just so relaxed. And I know it sounds off, but everyone's doing everything for you, aren't they? Because yes. I'm always the one, like, you know. Rushing around, cooking, cleaning, washing up, stacking the dishwasher, unstacking it. But you can lie back and just enjoy you Christmas can, You can, you can just enjoy a whole day of gala celebrations. It's just going to be amazing. And do you know what one of the, the, the best things is the transformation when they actually change, change all of the decorations over. I don't know whether you'll be on board for that, whether it will be decorated before, but when you have that, that cruise where it literally just changes over, and, it, it looks amazing. And just to make it really kind of Christmas and things. Yeah, absolutely. We will make a big, um, big thing about it as well. So you're going to have, you know, the grand Christmas trees, the decorations and things like that as well. A real big, beautiful sort of garland. Nice. And, and I know you would see Christmas Day, so would you, would you have a traditional Christmas meal if you want it? Yes, of, if yeah. you want it, it will be there for you. And obviously you can pick and choose in the a la carte as well so it's but, just yeah. going to be completely different real serious question what how does santa get on board oh that is a question i'm not quite sure we, well, we, anyway, can't, we, haven't, got, we haven't got time to answer it's quite yeah. complicated <laughs> um, <laughs> i'll talk to you about where we go to tell yeah, yeah. where we're we going easier. absolutely fantastic um now just before we do it is a 14 night all inclusive cruise don't forget and uh, we call it the uh, Cuban Fusion and Pride of Panama Cruise. Not easy to say that, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> On board the Tui Discovery too. Uh, but here's Keith to show you around. With its growing fleet of small, intimate ships that can really get you into the heart of a destination, Thompson Cruises are growing from strength to strength. And if you've ever cruised with them and experienced the onboard atmosphere, you'll know that they really capture the essence of a classic British family holiday. When it comes to the accommodation on board a Thompson cruise ship, there is an abundance of real choice from standard inside, outside, and balcony cabins, which are all spacious and stylish and well-designed and offer you plenty of amenities to make sure you can relax in comfort, all the way up to these incredible suites. I call this the perfect way to end the day. Thompson really does make the most of its open deck space, giving a great selection of pools, well pools, and places just to sit down and enjoy a good book. Not to mention a whole host of really fun daytime activities, which although they vary from ship to ship, could be table tennis, maybe basketball tournaments, rock climbing, family fun quizzes, game shows, cookery demos, mini golf, dance lessons, and even cocktail making lessons. In fact, you can pretty much guarantee that any day at sea is going to be just as exciting and action-packed as any day in port. When you dine on any of their ships, you can expect at least three restaurants to choose from. So whether you're after a bit more of a laid-back, on-the-go dinner, or something more formal and intimate, Thompson can provide for that. Plus, with Thompson, all your tips and service charges are included in the price. And even better, the latest TUI Discovery, TUI Discovery 2, and TUI Explorer are all inclusive as standard. It's at night when Thompson Cruises really do come alive with some truly show-stopping entertainment on board their ships. Now, if you head to the plush theatres, like the one behind me, you can see West End-style shows that really set the scene for some superb entertainment. But you know what? It's not just the show lounges that spark life into the evenings on board. Because as the curtains are drawn back, there's live bands and cabaret acts that literally pop up all over the ship. The lively nights, five-piece ensemble party bands command the stage. And the tunes are so infectious, they literally pull you onto the dance floor. I tell you what, that Keith Maynard has a good life, doesn't he, really? Doesn't he? He's got it all. Um, anyway, you're going to see some great places on this one. Great places. So, Justin, for final time. Is, it, is that my cue? That's your cue. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's, let's have a Grand Cayman. This is a fantastic island, fantastic facilities. You can actually go to the ends of the earth, you can actually go to hell. There's a place on Grand Cayman called Hell. You can send a postcard from hell and there's a guy in a shop that's in a devil's costume that will save your stamp. Um, there's also beautiful Seven Mile Beaches and Stingray City oh. as well to boot. So plenty to see and do there. Then the highlight of this cruise, and to be fair, this is the reason I would book this cruise. We're going not just to Havana, we're spending the night there. 
Oh yeah, things are gonna get messy. It's gonna be an amazing night. Imagine that wonderful Cuban beat just dancing away, having a couple of Cuba Libras, a little bit of Bacardi, a oh. little bit of Havana Club. Other brands are available. Seeing the wonderful <laughs> uh, cars as well uh, that are out there. Cars? Oh, yeah, no, the, all of the cars, because the import um, issues. Uh, they, 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 they have these fantastic 1950s Cadillacs and stuff. There's Sounds actually, like this, you mean? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's actually a photographer that did a calendar a couple of years ago and found a very, very rare Mercedes Benz. There's like only 300 of them ever built, and it's rotting underneath a banana tree in Cuba. Oh. Crazy. Anyway, that's that's why I'm saying you're going to have such a crazy time there because the flavour in the music. Uh, then we're off to Cozumel from one crazy place to another. This place is just alive. Um, you've got to go to Senor Frogs. Um, yeah, oh, Nick's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nicholas been frogs. Senior Frogs. <laughs> Where else? Eh? Where would you say? Oh, I don't know. Too many. Carlos and Charlie's. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting all the gossip now on Nicola. Carlos <laughs> and Charlie's Senior Frogs. Um, you can actually swim with dolphins here, by the way. Um, so lo lovely, lovely place. Great for silver. And there's some main ruins. Um, then we're off to Montego Bay. So you can do Dunrivers Falls, you can do the Bob Marley Trails. Um, we can go off to Costa Rica as well um, after relaxing day. I actually did Duns River Falls on my 40th. Did you? Yeah, I was adventurous, you see. Your 40th? Yeah, as long as, yeah. <laughs> Eight years ago. <laughs> Don't rub it in. I won't ask what you're doing for your 50th. No, anyway, keep going. I'm on a cruise. So, I um, keep going. To be fair though, Jamaica, if you love your reggae music, yeah. you're going to absolutely love Jamaica. I love the Jamaican people as well. Don't yeah? You? Yeah, I a do, lot I, of fun. I just love the whole culture. Everything's so laid back yeah. and chill. And it's just like, yeah, no problem, man. Take it easy, take it easy. Anyway, now we're off to Costa Rica. Um, to be fair, Costa Rica, um, Colón, Panama, and um, Cartagena, you've got very similar tours and excursions. Each one of the ports is, is completely different. In Costa Rica, you can go and see the sloths. Um, yeah, because they're really slow moving, so you, you'll have plenty of time to capture a picture or two. Um, I'd say as well, uh, from, from Puerto Rica into Cartagena, uh, and Sa even Santa Marta as well, all of your outdoor activities, you can do zip lining, you can go on um, donkeys, on horses, quad bikes, fantastic outdoor activities and here's another sloth <laughs> upside down so uh, but now if you want to go and see some of the creatures I mean just some amazing wildlife out there and I'd actually say Panama you've got this real contrast because you've got these old buildings that are sort of kind of crumbling but then you've got these new modern metropolises that are, are, are just sort of growing it's just fantastic but it's all building up to one thing and that's the last relaxing day at sea you're not going to be relaxing you are going to be saying, Happy Christmas, what's the cocktail of the day? God. That's what you're so, going to be saying. So that's where we are on Christmas Eve, and yep. then Christmas Day, it's we're spent at sea. sea. We're going to be at sea. That's going to be yeah. amazing, isn't it? It's going to be fantastic. Oh. Bucks' breakfast in the morning. Oh, it's going to be such a good day. Yeah. yeah. Christmas lunch, fantastic, and perhaps matinee show, some entertainment, another little drink in the, in the uh, cocktail bar, yeah. no washing up. No yeah. stress. Huh? Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, the stress will be, where do we go next? Yeah. Exactly. I will be in the live room, so come and find me. <laughs> On the piano? On the piano. <laughs> um, what an amazing finish to this uh, fantastic Thompson takeover. Let's just recap. So, again, virtually every cruise tonight has been all-inclusive. Uh, all of your tips and service charges included. Uh, you will be enjoying Christmas Day on board on this one. You've got return flights based on Manchester, but we can also get you flights from London, Gatwick or Birmingham for just a supplement as well. What a show, but um, I, I know we're going to be, you know, it could, could be our busiest show ever, so bear with us. Uh, phone lines open till 11 o'clock tonight and first thing tomorrow at 8 o'clock. First Thompson takeover we've ever done, but normally whenever we feature just one cruise from Thompson, the line's, you know, really busy, so imagine a whole hour. And we've had exclusive discounts, exclusive savings, and some brilliant upgrades as well. So, uh, yes, we have got some of the best prices we've ever seen. So let's recap the six Thompson cruises we had tonight. We started off on board the uh, Thompson Dream. I thought this was a great start to the show. 599, uh, seven night all inclusive, the Canarian flavors from Tenerife. Again, free upgrade to all inclusive, tips and service charges included. Return flights based on Bournemouth there, but also flights available from selected UK airports. And actually, if you want to spend, um, 
Time a, you know, away after the cruise, you can have a seven night Christmas hotel in Tenerife, half off from 499. Then we moved on to, uh, yes, the uh, farewell season on board, the, the very much loved Thomson Spirit. So the farewell season, you get an upgrade from inside to outside on this one. And it's a seven night classical uh, Greece uh, cruise there from Dravovnik. And we turn flights from London, Gatwick, Bristol or Glasgow on that one. And also, as you mentioned, you can have um, a seven night hotel beach stay from only 279. Then the third cruise, again, this was adult only on board the fantastic Tui Discovery there. The 79 all-inclusive Tropical Horizons from Yorker to Barbados. I know Nicola thinks this one is, could be the, uh, the top seller of the show. All-inclusive again and return flights based on London Gatwick. And a brilliant single special at 1879. Then, if you don't like flying, if you're not uh, able to fly, if you like to take a lot of luggage away with you, this could be for you. It's the Baltic Discovery from Newcastle. Uh, again, all inclusive with exclusive discounts and a single way starting at 2159 based on the lead date. Really low deposit on that one, by the way, from only £75. Uh, and I think Justin and Nicola mentioned some great deluxe cabins available on that one as well. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And do you know what? The, the money that you're saving on, on the all-inclusive, yeah, just, just do it. If you've got a special anniversary, if you just want to go just because, just yeah. do it. It's, it is nice we can upgrade to bigger mm. cabin things, isn't it? Then, what was next? Oh, oh yes. Now this one, very exciting. Uh, a chance to sell for the first time on Thompson's newest ship, the Tui Explorer. She, yeah, she's going to be amazing, isn't she? She's going to be fantastic. Yeah, she really is. Uh, single available on this one as well, 1529, and return flights based on Bournemouth there. And a low deposit, yeah, if you want to get your place on that one, a low deposit uh, from only £75 per person. And then, I would love to be on a cruise ship on Christmas Day, because I'm, I'm normally... I love Christmas Day, but I'm worn out by the end of it. Uh, this is the way to do it. It's the 49 all-inclusive. Uh, amazing cruise here. And uh, so all-inclusive, tip service charges. You're going to be uh, on board on Christmas Day. And return flights based on Manchester as well. Uh, now, if you'd like to join the Planet Cruise team, they've got their holiday show coming. I'm going to be there. Nicola, are you going to be there? I'm going to be there as well. Yes, indeed. Oh, you'll be recognised. You know that, don't I'm you? I'm right, So come over and say hello. <laughs> Just in sulking because he's not there. You were busy. Uh, well, I, I've only got a light pencil in the diary, so it, <laughs> yeah. it could be. I t don't. I'll threat you. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll turn up. I'll turn up. Well, listen, we'd love to see you there. But I'll be there. The whole team will be there. Nick will be there. And also, a quick reminder why book with Thompson tonight? Well, exclusive discounts in every cabin on every cruise tonight. All inclusive as standard on the two Discovery, the two Discovery 2, the two Explorer. All your tips and service charges. Don't worry about them. They're included. Uh, regional flights as well, and we've also had no-fly cruises tonight. Well, what a show. I'd like to do it all again. We come back. I'd love to do it all again, seriously. Yeah, why not? Let's start again. Amazing show. Brilliant. And can I say thank you for the exclusive savings and discounts. Our viewers are going to really appreciate that. I think we're going to be really busy tonight. Let's hope so. Yeah. So thank you so much. We will see uh, Nicola very soon. Justin, you're back in two weeks? No, I'm back next week. Great. I will see you I next week. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get away, but book your cruise tonight with Thompson.